This is New Albany, Mississippi. This is the Regal truck stop. They make you pay $12 to park. Some people do, some people don't. I have no problem paying. People complain that we shouldn't pay. I understand their point. But also, these are small businesses. They're not huge corporations. So they don't gather mass amounts of money. You're also driving into their property and parking. If you buy fuel, I believe it's free. Um, the only criticism I have is I think that you should have a, a limitation on what you buy in the store. There's a certain other uh, gas station in Arkansas that does that near Clarksville. If you buy a certain amount in the store, that classes as your parking. And I think that uh, maybe they should sort of consider that as well. But I still don't blame them. They do washouts here as well, $35, which is pretty reasonable, actually. So, $12 to park, and I believe it's for as long as, I, they don't, never told me there was a time frame. So I believe it's for as long as you can. I don't know, maybe they will tell you, oh, it was a state trooper. So I'm not 100% sure. But like I say, some people are, are, are upset about it and don't think that we should pay. I get their point. Maybe at the corporations, like Pilots, Flying J's, TA's, Loves, all that. I get that there, because they're huge. Um, and they still have overheads, but this is a little different here, so. $12 to park, $35 for a washout. They do bacon, egg and cheese, tenderloin, egg and cheese. Uh, their little biscuits, I brought one of each this morning. They were scrumptious. They're really nice because they didn't upset my belly. That, that's, that, that right there is a proven that they do some um, excellent food in there. And they had some other uh, bits and pieces that I can't get elsewhere, which was nice. So I was able to buy them bits and pieces here. They had milk, which I've been struggling to get a hold of, which is about normal in this day and age. So we are getting ready to head to Humboldt, Tennessee pick a load up to go to Warrington, Missouri. So we're gonna leave New Albany, Mississippi and we're gonna to go to Humboldt, Tennessee. We're gonna slide your tandems first. Cool. A little sweaty. Oh yeah, sorry, my bad, apologies. Ooh, I forgot about the beat beat, sorry I had my lights on. I'm sorry, I'm sure that's really, really irritating. Oh well, it is what it is, slap me later. All right, so, I found out something. My rain cap, because it's not um, got a lot of weight in it, it's flimsy, but it's good and it works, aside from when I'm in storms and it rains, the wind will pick up the flap that sits over the top of my exhaust and let the water in. The water goes down into the exhaust. When I fire it up after a rainstorm, that is where the oil is coming from. I finally figured that out yesterday. So when it rains, water goes down in the tube, washes the oil that's been like the, the carbon that's building up and the oil that's pushing through anyway and it's not huge but the oil that does push through it's then washing that oil out and it's pushing it down through the pipe 
because today it has done it at none because I haven't had any rain. When I left out of Sherman, Texas yesterday up to here, I had no rain and I still haven't had any rain. So I don't have any oil pushing out the stack. So I found something out. Um, I might have to invest in a bucket or something, I don't know. Maybe, see it's hard though because I think it even goes down when it's raining, possibly maybe. More so when it's stopped though, I think. But I might have to invest in something to uh, put over the top there if I know a rainstorm's coming uh, to stop the rain getting in the stack. So I'll have to look into that and, and see whether it's worth me doing that or not. If, if, if even if the bucket will stay on there. So, but yes, that or I need to get a, t a pipe, a turnout on it. I might even have to get a turnout on it and turn the pipe out. Raise it up above the fairing and turn it out above the pipe. So. I might even I might even consider doing that, getting a pipe and turning it out. All right, it's time to go to work. So, sorry about the beeping. That, that's very annoying. I know it is. I know because I'm autistic, and autistic people get upset over things like that. All right, slide the tent. It's fine.
15, so I'm trying to figure out where that is. up to the Tennessee line so highway 15 up to the Tennessee line and then uh, pick up 125 and then that'll put us up uh, uh, towards I think it's highway 18 into Jackson different because some will let you on the road, some won't let you, see it's really, you know, it's like trying to get to a road is, is to be insane. They've got a lot of 
of log trucks that run around these areas, and cotton trucks, so we'll find out if we're in trouble, won't we? The track marks in the road is what I look at. If I see a huge amount of scrub marks and a lot of trailer tyre marks and that, it's like, yeah, okay.
did not do that. He did do that. And he did that as well. If I was going to go like this, and then he decided to come across. He's important, I'm not. It's not too high. 
so it's it's reasonable. Mississippi's got some roads um, that, that are gonna. Uh, huh. That's awesome. I like that. They've got like a 57,560 pound weight limit. Get in there, get in there, girl. It's just me. Spraying. I think this is another load of spraying. Spraying the feeds. I just let them grow. I need a sprayer. We need them anyway. 
let all the uh, let all the naturals just do their job. Oh, wow. So you didn't hear about all the honeybees, right? There was a shipment of honeybees. They were supposed to be going to Alaska. This is so strange. Well, it's not actually. It's just normal about nowadays. It, it ended up in Atlanta, Georgia. And honeybees under transportation have to be kept uh, um, in pretty cold weather. And that old glove, she's got a hell of a... She did it though, she got it in there, she said, oh, I can do it by myself, I don't need your help, man. She did that all by herself, but she's going to do the next one as well. It's a hell of a wait. Your seatbelt is unbuckled. Oh yeah, I got distracted, didn't I? So they, 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 they was, they was mis... They, they, they was mis... I don't know how, what, uh, what, gosh, darling, what word would that be? Now I've lost my word for what that would be. Anyway. They ended up in Atlanta, Georgia, and they shouldn't have ended up in Atlanta, Georgia. So they ended up in Atlanta, Georgia, and it killed a lot of them. And there were so many. I, I need to find the story. Well, you can look up the story as well of the honeybees that they, um, they oh, wow. I can't believe they, they're passing people with vehicles coming the other way. No, he turned. Okay, that's insane. Oh, my bad. Oh, I panicked then. No, they are passing. No, they are passing. They're passing on the shoulder. In the centre line, basically. And DOT isn't going to um, dirt cheap. Huh. Oh, dirt cheap distribution centre. Ah, oh, interesting. Here you go. the intelligence to let traffic pass and then let it get around them because that's their job to keep moving why should they stop right why should they stop there's no reason they should stop the reason they should allow traffic to pass right no reason I don't know why they're spraying anyway it makes no sense to me just leave it alone So look up the honeybees that were supposed to go to Alaska and uh, they, they were desperately needed. Ended up in Atlanta, Georgia and it killed a lot of them. Killed them all. And I'm like, oh, that goes down with destroying all the food production plants and that and then of course palm oil is on a struggle uh, sunflower oil is on a struggle well this is interesting just decided to move out of the way, wow. Go on, Sha, give me the large one. Go on, Sha, give me the large one. You are, you do, son. Go on, mash it too. Good boys. I appreciate you moving out of the way, lads. Thank you very much. Proud of you. You're doing a marvellous job of whatever it is you're doing. 